Before every retwist, I spray my scalp with water and follow up with my lock oil blend. This ensures that my locks are moisturized, soft, and easily malleable so that I can separate my locks with ease, making the retwist process seamless, simple, quicker, and less painful as I am not pulling out all the strands of my hair. In this video, you will observe both the asymmetrical parting in which my locks were created, as well as my somewhat unconventional method of retwisting my locks. I allow my locks to grow and flourish as they please, retwisting only a handful of times throughout the year to prevent them all from marrying. This would classify my locks as semi-freeformed. Allowing my hair to grow in this manner has positively altered my perspective on beauty and femininity. I love the texture and density of my locks, and I am not opposed to having a few of them combined, as some already have. However, my need to express myself creatively throughout the styling of my hair keeps me fr from committing to a complete freeform lifestyle. You will notice that I do not retwist my locks with any butters, creams, or gels, as I do not believe it is necessary in order to have a successful retwist. You may also observe the lacks of clips used in this process and that my roots are not retwisted tightly. I retwist my locks with a combination of the palm roll method, the locksmithing method, and stuffing loose strands wherever they fit. This works well for me as it keeps my roots separated while putting minimal tension on my scalp and strands. I do not believe that my locks need to be overly maintained in order for them to appear neat or presentable. And through my own personal observation, I have found that locks with little manipulation appear fuller and healthier and grow stronger and longer than locks that are frequently twined and styled, as the base is thicker, providing a stronger foundation for the body of the lock to grow. When it comes to loose new growth, I combine the extra strands with a nearby lock, wrapping down the length of the lock and then back up to the root before tucking the ends near the scalp. This facilitates the locking process as it builds the exterior and interior of the lock body. Then I roll and stroke the lock until the texture of the retwisted area somewhat matches the mature lock body. This technique is similar to the newly popularized locksmithing method. This clip is here to give you a close-up of my locks before and after retwisting. As you can see on the retwisted side, the ununiformed finger parting I used to begin my lock journey. Each of my locks retwist differently, so you will see some locks look twisted tighter than others but all the locks are loose at the root. It may also appear as though some of my locks are not retwisted at all. This does not bother me as the main goal of retwisting my locks is to keep them separated and not so much have them look uniformed or overly maintained. When it comes to my hairline, very little effort is placed in retwisting as I care deeply about preserving my edges and I prefer to see a full, thick hairline when my hair is pulled back, as opposed to one that is interrupted by parts. I hope this video gave you some insight on me, my locks, and my perspective. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I gave more of a laid back commentary in this video, but I will be more lively in my next one. Thank you for watching, and I will see you through the screen. Bye! Although we've come to the end of the video, still you can't just go till you subscribe to me and you like this thing and you share it too.